Welcome to the channel. Today we continue to investigate the best temperature and humidity sensor on the market. This time we're looking into the offerings from a really exciting company called Third Reality, who have been in the industry since 2018. They focus on sensors, lighting and plug accessories, and aim to offer features that the users actually need, with quality and an affordable price. We'll be looking at two temperature and humidity sensors. The temperature and humidity sensor light, which is just the basic no frills, small square white box style, but with a twist, and the temperature and humidity sensor with digital LCD display, which promises to pack a lot of tech into a small package and goes up against some stiff competition. So are these devices any good or are third reality just talking lots of hot air? Let's find out. I'm going to be reviewing both of these devices in one video as essentially they perform the same function with the main difference is that one has a super clear display and the other one doesn't. First off the dimensions, the light is 3.54 by 3.15 by 0.75 inches and weighs in at 2.12 ounces, while the LCD version is 2.42 by 2.41 by 0.7 inches and weighs in at 5.61 ounces and comes with an included kickstand. It also has a super clear and easy to read two and a quarter inch LCD display, which is not backlit, but then again, would you expect that running on a battery? Both units can be switched between Celsius and Fahrenheit, keeping the American and the rest of the world customers happy. Both units use Zigbee 3.0, which gives them excellent efficiency. Hence the battery life for the LCD display version reported at least one year of use. And since the light doesn't have a display, it will presumably last much longer, although I couldn't find any specific figures, just that it had a long lasting battery life. Remember that both units work on two AAA batteries and not button cells, so they are super easy and cheap to source and replace. Compatibility for both units lists off an extensive list of platforms, including Amazon Echo, Google Home Assistant, Euro Products, Homey Pro, Homey Bridge, SmartThings, Home Assistant through Zigbee Coordinators and the third reality Zigbee Hub. Not to mention the Matter compatibility is also offered through the third reality Smart Bridge called the MZ1 and also through third party Matter controllers. Accuracy is claimed at plus or minus 0.3 degrees Celsius for the light and 1 degree for the LCD version while the humidity accuracy is plus or minus 2% for both units. Refresh is every five seconds for the light and 20 seconds for the LCD display version. We'll be testing all of these later in the video. For installation, there are a few different options. As we've already mentioned, third reality devices are highly compatible with multiple platforms and even with matter. So that expands the integration possibilities even further. Since this channel is predominantly focused on Home Assistant and product reviews, I'll assume that you are going to be integrating these into Home Assistant. These devices are Zigbee 3.0 compatible, so the easiest way to integrate with Home Assistant is to add them through ZHA as a Zigbee device. I did this in my initial testing. However, Third Reality have a separate integration that you can use to add Third Reality devices through Zigbee. This allegedly adds additional entities and greater stability, although I didn't see this for these devices, but it's great to see that Third Reality are well supported within Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the Add Integration button in the bottom right hand corner. Search for and select Third Reality. Now press Add Zigbee Device. Put your device in pairing mode. In this case, I'll be adding the LCD display by pressing and holding the button on the side for five seconds. Your device will now be added. Change the name and give it an area. Now repeat the exercise for the light device. Insert your batteries. If required, press and hold the button on the inside for five seconds to put the device into pairing mode. Once paired, change the name and set an area as required. Both of your devices should now show up as Zigbee devices. Now let's see what entities are exposed. Go to Settings, Devices and Services. Search for Zigbee and select Devices. Search for Third Reality, which will bring up your devices. 
I'll split screen to bring up both devices at once. The device ending in BZ is the LCD display variant and the device ending in 4Z is the light model with no display. As you would expect from such devices, the entities discovered are just the bare minimum, with both devices showing the temperature and humidity in the sensor section. However, the LCD display version shows the temperature and humidity to one decimal place, whereas the light version shows the value to two decimal places. For testing, I am putting these two temperature and humidity sensors up against an Air Gradient Air 1 and a SwitchBot Meter Pro. I realize that these are not scientifically calibrated devices, but they give you a good comparison measurement to gauge the relative humidity and temperature. I've also plotted these devices onto a dashboard. The left shows the individual measurements by device, and the right shows the comparison of all four on a graph. Reviewing the graphs, the takeaway here is how remarkably similar all the readings are, with a spread of no more than 0.7 degrees Celsius across all four devices. Remember the accuracy at the worst is supposed to be 0.3 degrees, so well within the threshold for the mean temperature. For humidity, the story is very much the same, with a spread of 1 degree. And this is based on the quoted accuracy of 2 degrees, and that is not even taking into account that the third reality vices might well be spot on for their measurements. This is quite remarkable consistency of accuracy, and proves how good devices have become. The other point to note here is that the light device has a much greater granularity of reporting, far more than any other battery powered device that I've ever seen. All things considered, these were excellent results and put the third reality devices way up in the leader's board. So the third reality temperature and humidity sensor, either with or without a display, what do I think? Well, as of Q2 2025, there are currently a flood of such sensors on the market. So what sets these apart from the rest? On the pro side, they are super accurate and the frequency of reporting is exceptional to the point where I question if they should dial this back to increase the battery life. But then again, the battery life is already some of the best in class. And remember, these run on AAA batteries, not difficult to source, unlike some oversized button cells. So they are easy to source and cheap. Connectivity is pretty much universal and they are matter compatible. And did I mention that they are super competitive on price with a light at $19.99 US and the LCD display at $24.99 US. Links in the description. On the con side, the light is slightly bigger than the competitors, but that's to house those AAA batteries and the LCD display version could be a little bit bigger, possibly the size of the SwitchBot version. And I'd love to see a magnetic back so they can be mounted on your fridge. But apart from that, I can't think of anything else I would ask for. Well done, third reality. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if you want to join other like-minded people, then why not join the Discord channel where smart home enthusiasts meet to solve each other's issues. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.